Oh, ma'am, are you actually 30? Yes. Uh, excellent, ma'am. And listen, ma'am, I just want to ask you just a quick question, okay? Oh, no. What do you think I'm going to ask? I never know. Okay, ma'am, I run a broadcast every night, and people have been asking me to talk to more women in their 30s. just want to ask one simple question, ma'am. Are you married? Uh, no. Uh, and why? Why? Um, I don't know. <laughs> What do you mean you don't know? Maybe we're not able to get a, a date or... On our <laughs> date. Okay. So you're choosing not to be married? Yeah, I guess. Fair enough. Do you have any kids? Yeah. <laughs> uh, when was your last... How long was your last serious relationship? Three years. Three. And why didn't y'all get married? Um, I don't know. This is <laughs> what your broadcast is? Ma'am. Yes. You know how many people from 18 to 30 years old are now single and alone? And how many women are getting closer to 40 and having to buy a dog and... I'm sick of this. I know some of you guys, I know you may think this is a troll, but I'm dead ass serious. More people are dying alone. In 2030, 45% of women are going to be single and childless. What does that mean, ma'am? Yeah, m women, are taking, women are committing suicide at a much higher rate than they used to. Yes, I'm thinking it's a problem. And so not men, though. What? What? That I don't think men are the problem? Yeah, okay. Are men also committing suicide at an extended rate? Women are committing a higher suicide rate, yes. So what is the rate for men? What is the rate for men? Yeah. They are, it has increased threefold from the 90s. Could that not what be it, a reflection on a greater socioeconomic situation? I'm glad you asked. Wonderful question, ma'am. What has changed? Hmm? Why are men and women more lonely? Why do you think? Uh, well, the, cost the, the cost of living. The cost of living. Mm -hmm. But why are more people lonely? Because the cost of living wouldn't leave people lonely. The cost of living is leaving people lonely? It wouldn't leave people lonely. So why are more people lonely? Maybe more people need to go to church. More people need to go to church. Is that what you think it is? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh. Let's, let's have a real talk then, ma'am, if you want to get into it. <clears throat> Do you know what the statistic is of online dating? The percent of women that go for a certain percent of men. Do you know what that is? I don't. I've never online dated. <laughs> so you're disconnected. So 90%, right. There was a case, it used to be 80% of women were going for 20% of men. You know that number has gone from 99% to 1%? Could that be a reflection on the pool of single men? No, ma'am. 99% are going for the 1% man because they won't make 1% money. Or, hear me out, the other 99% of men are wearing fedoras. Thank you, ma'am. And see, this is exactly why women like yourself don't get far because you don't care about this shit and you'll end up just the same way. See, you okay. women, you women, you women. No, ma'am, because see, you're not even trying to listen. Ma'am, women are going for the men at the top 1%, which is fine. But guess what? There's only 1% of them. What happens to the rest of those women? So you're saying better to be married to a slouch than to be... How the fuck is a 90... How is a man who's in the top 15% a slouch? I said they're going for the top 1%. That leaves everyone else. No, no, ma'am, because you said that the other 99% of men are slouches because they're not in the top 1%. I'm just saying, like, the wage gap, okay? What is the next lowest tier there? Is it that the the next lowest man is still successful, or is there a large gap between the 1% successful and the 2%? The <laughs> ma'am, okay, when I say 1%, I'm talking about a specific amount of money that's being made. You think... Somebody from 200,000, that's the 1%. 100,000 would be like the top 10%. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. That women should... I'm saying statistics say that. What did you say? Did you say women should lower their standards? Is that what you're saying? Ma'am, ma'am, if there's only 1% of men, how can 99% of women go for the 1% of men and all of them get him? Well, they don't have to get whatever. I'm Thank just... you. But they don't go for anyone else. That they rather die alone. 
is that not everyone's prerogative to set a standard that they choose, whatever they would prefer? Nope. Because big old Betsy, because big old Betsy, who's 250 pounds, walking around, she's gonna go for Chad, who's making 200 thousand dollars a year. Is Chad gonna pick Betsy? I don't know. It depends. Woman, no, no. See, don't, don't, play, don't play the game. Do you go for attractive men or do you go for Billy on fries, who's 350 pounds? Don't, don't play. <laughs> See, would you? Would you go for Billy on fries, who weighs 350? No, the fuck you wouldn't. Because if you would, you'd be married. You're going, you're going for men. Who clearly you're attracted to. You don't just go for any man. You assume that every guy that I'm attracted to is into me. Oh, I know they're not. Right. But you, my point is, you would not go for Billy on fries. He weighs 350. Just use your head. Anybody would be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because he works fries and he's 350. Anybody with logical sense would be like, okay, he's not going to be attractive to most people. Right? Well, I don't think most people have the same type. Ma'am. All right. Did you go to college? Okay, so I know you know logic, right? You know the vast... When you talk about statistics, what do they normally use as statistics? The majority. With the majority of people go for Billy on Fries who weighs 350. Not one person, not two person, not one bitch who likes fat, uh, fat fetishes. I'm talking about with the most... With most women go for Billy on Fries that weighs 350. If you can't answer that, ma'am, then we can't have a discussion. Because then you're not, you're not even going to talk from logic. What is the case that See? Ma'am, you can't answer. No, ma'am. See, that's disingenuous. When you answer a question with the question, it's disingenuous. You're not asking me that question in good faith. Okay. Ask the, ans I'm answering your questions. Can you answer mine? Would most women go for Billy on fries who weighs 350? You're asking me to answer for my entire gender? Or do you see, ma'am? See, see, you say you went to college, ma'am. We use generalizations and statistics. No, no, no. no, clarify for me so I can answer. Are you asking me personally or for my entire gender? Both. Well, I can't answer for my whole gender. Thank you. Thank you. That's what you women do. That's what you women do. Y'all can never talk in general. Ma'am, you know generally most women are going to go for that, but you refuse to say it because you don't want to prove my point. Okay. Oh, so you got your right, your dating right now is Billy on fries who makes $12 an hour and he's, he makes, he's weighs 350. Does your man make $12 an hour? Is that not, where are you from that that's not normal to make? $12 an hour is poverty, ma'am. Ma'am, twelve dollars would still be poverty. Doesn't matter what the minimum wage is. You say you went. To... Are you? I'm sorry. Are you just here to shame me for what? What I'm. Ma'am, I tried to ask you questions, but you're acting. I'm trying to get people to have me have a conversation with a woman, but you're at, you're answering the questions like a child. I asked you would most women go for that, and you go, "Well, I can't speak for most women." I said I can only speak for me. Yeah. But you know the answer. That's what children do. You know the answer. Why can't we have a adult conversation if i was said ma'am you just said earlier when i talked about women going to 99 percent of women going for the top one percent man you said should women lower their standards so that means what the vast majority of those women are going for whom not billy on fries weighing 350 wait can i just say what i'm what i'm thinking okay is that i feel as though you are saying that with the, the the options are go for one percent go for 99 percent, and i think most women would look at it as go for whatever whichever section you want what percent the difference whatever or be happier by yourself thank you and what do you think most women are choosing most people would rather be alone than miserable how the fuck are you ma'am how are you going to be miserable because a guy is not making $200,000 a year and you can't, you, man, when I say the top one, no, I've, I've already laid out the top 1% for you. I want you to listen, listen closely, please. When I talk about top 1%, I'm talking about a specific amount of money that men are making. This is what women are saying. Okay. $200,000 a year. Only top 1% of men are making anything close to that. Okay. Top 10% of men make 100000 the top 15% make 85,000. So you're trying to tell me that these women who say, you know what, if I can't get $200,000 a year from a man who's not gonna pick you, she'd rather have nothing. Does that make sense to you? She, instead of getting the $200,000 a year, guys, she, she can't get that, she don't want nothing. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I don't know. I'm not 
every woman. I don't. Why? Why would I be able to answer that? Because I already answered it for you, but you're not listening. I just told you. I'll. I just told you about 2030 that 45 percent of women are going to be single and childless. I just told you that statistic earlier, and you're and you're just looking right past it because you just want to stay on this sisterhood of I can't speak for every woman. Okay, you're telling me that women are single. Okay, what do you want me to do about that? Ma'am, Lord help the young lady. Please bless her heart. Lord, please help her. I came on here. What was my first question to you? Why are women single? Nope. Said, are you in a relationship? See, ma'am, I feel like you weren't even listening to anything I was saying. You talk very fast and you say a lot. <laughs> and yet not a lot at the same time. And they say men and they and they say men don't listen, men. Remember that. Okay, so uh, the what stemmed this whole conversation of me going to this thing mm -hmm. is I was trying to prove the point that I am seeing more women like yourself who are dying alone. You ask me, why do I believe that? And then I gave you the 99% to 1%. That's how we got there. Because you said it was economics. And I said, well, why are more people lonely? And then you went off to that. And that's why I went to the tenant thing based off your question. We didn't get there randomly, man. I explained to you what the problem was. And you won't even accept it. I'm not dying. Man, we're all dying. You don't know that. Are you married? Yeah. Okay. So why are you doing this? Ma'am, I just... See, you don't listen. What is, what is wrong with you? I just told you. Ma'am, no, no, no. Uh, no, I've already explained it. Why did I say I do this? Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> you think that people are dying alone? I think that... No, no, no. Okay. I'm asking what the purpose of your stream is. What did I tell you it was? What did I say that's happening that I'm seeing too much of? No, I understand you No, no, what did I say though? Women are dying alone. No, 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 no. See, you see, you went to women. I said, people from 18 to 30 years old are committing suicide. That's what I said. And see, you went straight to women. I said men and women. I said I want to see both people together, but you took out of it just women you as a, a curious party what the purpose of your stream is am i in the twilight zone what are you not understanding no, no, no. i understand you acknowledging there's a problem what does your stream do are you streaming to like who who is your audience who is my what is? Okay. i'm not i'm not being rude I'm curious. because i get to prove to my audience people okay. like you people like you or the reason why... Hey, so you asked me a question, am I going to be able to say it or no? Are you you're telling me who your audience is? Go for it. Yes. Ma'am, I said my... Who do you think my audience is, ma'am? It's people. Well, what, what, what does it matter? What's the demographic? What's the demographic of your audience? Who do you think my demographic is, ma'am? Isn't it obvious? Didn't I say 18 to 30? Your audience is 18 to 30-year-olds who are looking for... What? Okay, man, so this person doesn't clearly understand how when you make content, ma'am, I make content, my audience is whatever I make it because it's the people who listen to these specific conversations. Yeah. If I made videos about playing the piano, who's going to watch videos about playing the piano? <gasps> people who want to watch. Thank you. So my audience is picking themselves because of the content I make. It's not that I make content for that audience. My content was already this and people who are that audience who are interested in what I am talking about is the ones who come to watch it. That is just common sense. Sir, why are you so defensive about that question? I'm not defensive about the question, ma'am. I'm just so surprised at how ignorant you are. You're 30 years old and you don't, you can't put this up. To, it's frustrating that a 30-year-old woman is asking questions, can't do generalizations, can't do statistics, can't talk like an adult. It's frustrating because I'm seeing too many of y'all acting this way and then you question why we are the way we are. I asked you simple questions and you immediately went to, oh, why do you think this? And why do you think that? And then when I explained it to you, okay, what was this? And then I say, well, what did I say, ma'am? Oh, <laughs> it's frustrating. It's like I'm talking to a 14-year-old. A hmm. You understand how frustrating that is? When you're an adult, uh, you don't have any kids. But if you're an adult who's ever worked with children, 
you know how frustrating it is when you're talking to somebody who's younger and you're like, damn, you're just not getting it. And I'm just, it's, it's frustrating. And I'm more frustrated because you're 30 years old. It's frustrating. You get that? And she doesn't. She doesn't get it at all. And this is why I said what I said earlier, man. Alone. Yeah, look at look at how confused you look. You already know what's you already know the results of this. Anyway, you go up there, continue your life. You know, 30 times ticking for you. It's getting rough out there, boys. <laughs>